there. Good afternoon. I'm in Sorrento. You can see right there. I just took the train from Napoli, Naples, across the Gulf of Naples. The plan for today is to visit the Amalfi Coast. The Amalfi Coast is along here. Positano, Amalfi. I don't know how it's going to go yet today. Let's get started walking into Sorrento. Go check out the uh, main plaza, Piazza Tasso. It was about an hour and a half train ride there from uh, Naples. Kind of a slow train because it makes many stops. But a uh, scenic one. You could see Mount Vesuvius from the train across the bay out there. The active volcano, currently an active volcano because it can potentially erupt, but it hasn't in a long time. I'm not sure when the last eruption was, but it is especially famous for erupting in AD 79 and in the process destroying the city of Pompeii, burying it in ash, which ended up preserving the city for centuries. And I uh, explored it yesterday and showed that in a previous video. So let's uh, poke around Sorrento a little bit and then figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get down to the Amalfi Coast. It is not far away, but it is a very uh, winding road. I don't think that the train continues down there. I'm sure that there are buses. There is also a boat, which sounds fun. There are a couple of uh, pretty harbors here that are worth visiting. And I want to get a view from the cliffs looking out at Naples and Mount Vesuvius. It looks like that might be right up ahead. I have to say, this is a nice change from Naples. Naples is a very intense, gritty city. I didn't uh, make a video there this time because I was there once before, five years ago, and made some videos then. All right, looks like this is gonna work. So as I was saying, Naples is a very intense and bustling city. There it is, sprawled across the Gulf of Naples and at the base of Mount Vesuvius. Look at that, it really looks like a volcano from here. The island of Capri is nearby, that might be it. Over there. What a spectacular sight. Snow-covered mountains I can see out there. And those cliffs are just stunning. And so the Amalfi Coast is other side, looking out that way. Positano and Amalfi. So I have various options. I could uh, find out about a bus. I could take the boat. Assuming that they are going now in winter, in uh, February, not sure. And then renting a car is also an option. So I'm going to uh, get into the center, go find the main square. So here we have the main plaza. Piazza Tasso. Oh, Tasso. So I need to figure some things out for the options. I'm going to call some rental car places and see what the prices are looking like. Tours and tickets. Sounds like a good place to ask about the boats. So let's walk through the narrow little lanes here while I'll explain what I figured out. So the boats don't run now during low season. There are buses to Positano. So I might end up taking one of those, we'll see. There is also possibly rental cars. 
She recommended one place. They aren't answering the phone. I looked on my phone and found another place that is right near the harbor, which I wanted to see anyways. It is actually that way. I just wanted to walk through the uh, small lanes here. And so I'm going to walk over to that car rental place, give it a try, and in the process, check out the harbor. So the plans are coming together. I got various options. Let's head on down here, get down to the water, see the boats, smell the fish, which I am smelling very intensely, obviously from right here. Very cute town here. It is not one of the more amazing of the villages along the Amalfi Coast. Of course, it's a town, not a village. But this is kind of the beginning or the end, depending on your direction, of the Amalfi Coast. And then the ones that you see more in videos and stuff, Positano and Amalfi, look just really beautiful and quaint, smaller than Sorrento. Porto, that's what I'm looking for. And looks like we're about to get another good view. Incredible. Those cliffs are so sheer. And there is the port. Look at that. Great drop there. I gotta get down there. I hope I find a rental car. It's gonna be a long uphill walk with his backpack getting back up here. Mount Vesuvius. What a sight. What a bay. And look at the construction embedded into the cliff here. Intense. This looks very, very old. Okay, we got some stairs right here. Save me a little time. Very old looking caves. So on Google Maps, it shows the rental car places being right there. I see a restaurant and the Guardia Costiera Coast Guard. Not seeing a rental car place around here. So I guess next to uh, plan whatever, B, C. Nice to get a view of the harbor anyway. I just did the hike up here, stairs right there, back at the main square. And I think that I'm going to take the easiest route and just get a bus. So there's apparently a bus going to Positano from here at some point. So it's not exactly clear. There are ticket offices there and there that are both closed, probably like at one o'clock. It's about uh, like 1.10 right now. So just waiting to see what happens.
Look at this folks, this is unreal. Positano. So I have a uh, hotel reserve for tonight. Looks like a really nice one for like 30 bucks or $35 or so. But it isn't clear on the uh, map exactly where it is. I have something on my map, I'm not sure if it is right or not, so I'm going to walk down into the town, give it a try, see where I end up, and enjoy having arrived at such a absolutely magical place in a winter with sunshine, but almost no tourists and cheap prices. So this is looking pretty ultimate. And look at this super cute little mobile. It isn't a real Italian town without laundry hanging out to dry. So we have a uh, sign here. Spragona Beach. My uh, phone is telling me to go down this way. Let's hope this is right, because it's going to be a steep climb back up. I have to say, I am glad I don't have a car here. A pain to drive and even more of a pain to park. Almost in my hotel, the problem that I'm having with the maps is that when I try to find it on Google Maps, nothing comes up at all. And then when I use the email, click on get directions, then it does uh, show me to a location. It identifies it as a bank. So we'll find out soon if uh, this is the right place or not. Hopefully so, because it is a perfect location, it seems like. Should just be right down in here. So it is not looking good. Here's a bank. The place has a strange name. It's Al 17. Another bank. And it's supposed to be number 17 street address. I can imagine these lanes here in summer it must be just insane. Huh, so the uh, numbers are getting bigger. 14, 15, 17. And now 22. 18. No 17. 
So there you can see the beach. Where I was before looking for the hotel room was somewhere right in there, very close. Such a perfect location for a great price and a nice looking room, but there were big, big problems. So I'll tell the uh, story as I walk back up the hill here. So I uh, was just kind of at a loss because there was no phone number with the email, no phone number coming up when uh, searching for it on Google Maps. The hotel was not seeming to exist by that name. And so I went into another hotel right near there and found this lady who spoke very good English and was super helpful. And she was looking all over on her phone, trying to make sense of it, not having any luck. And then she looks at the number, like the zip code in the US, but uh, the number indicating the town, even though it said Positano City Center, she said that number doesn't make sense. She searched for that zip code number and it was like in the middle of Italy somewhere. So just a complete mystery. I'm just gonna have to cancel that uh, room. The thing is that the price of 30 euros seems to be just completely impossible here in Positano. I paid that in Naples the past two nights for a very, very simple room with bathroom outside the hall. This was like a nice looking room. So the 30 euros price didn't make sense. So I started looking for another place to stay and the best deal that I could find was 180 bucks. And the normal price is like $500. So uh, Positano is not cheap. I can't imagine what it's like in the summer trying to find a room and what the prices would be. So hopefully at least this one works out. We'll find out in about five minutes. So it was all worth it in the end for this amazing room. Look at this. It is called the Art Hotel and you can see why. Look at the awesome shower. It's a spiral. So all considering, this is not bad for Positano for $180. I'm sure that it is much, much more expensive in the high season. I will put the uh, price down below like in August. And so if you want to travel cheaper in Europe, then come in low season. Now in uh, late February, the uh, weather is amazing. The water is very cold, but it is just a world of difference to be here with not only the lower prices, but also much less people than in the uh, summer, even like late spring or whatever. And so I'm going to uh, take a break for a little bit and then get out of here, go for a walk, go down to the beach. And then there's a nice uh, walk from one beach to the other beach, back to the city center, make it a nice loop, see the uh, sun setting there, definitely grab a uh, drink and probably some food. Art Hotel. Lots of art. Hello, sir. Hello. It's a GoPro. No. It's a DJI. It's like a GoPro. It's a, It's kind of the same as a GoPro. Yeah, it's like an alternate uh, camera, but similar. Yeah. I do. I'm uh, on YouTube. Really? Gabriel, YouTuber. yes, exactly. Gabriel Traver. I'm making a video of Positano and showing your hotel. And... He's a YouTuber. He's the owner of the hotel. Hello. So nice to meet you. How much you pay to take us on the video? You pay to us. To pay to you? Yeah. How much you pay to me? <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe we just make it even. And... He's a famous actor. I'm a very famous actor. Are you? Yeah. You've been in movies? I did a very, yeah, a very famous movie, Replay. Replay? Yeah. Replay. Do you know the Is it a Hollywood or an Italian movie? I was here in, in uh, Atrani, between Atrani, Maioli. Okay. Yeah, and I was a very silent actor. Why so silent? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I lost him for Hollywood. I was a comparse, yeah. just a comparse. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was your one, your one time acting, you mean? No, the second. The, one, the other one was him. He's a real actor. I okay. see. Yeah. I was an a theater, like, but the, the first step was a comparse, but the next step... I would be like uh, yeah. Denzel Washington. Denzel yeah. Washington. <laughs> I was in a Bollywood movie in India. Really? Yeah. Where? In India, it's, they, they call it Bollywood uh -huh. instead of Hollywood. Uh -huh. Instead of Hollywood, they call it Bollywood yeah, because yeah, it was yeah, in yeah. Bombay, India. Yeah. And I was an extra, you know. No, but I mean, it is still uh, here in Italy. And they are uh, making this series for uh, Netflix, which is a famous uh, film of Matt Damon. Okay. Replay. Replay. The, the, I'll have to look it up. Life of Mr. Replay. Oh, Ripley, Ripley, yes, Ripley. I've, I've seen this movie, yeah, I've seen so this movie. making like eight um, uh, series for this one, and oh. they are hiring a lot of people from here, and it was one of them. I see, so you mean it's a, it's a series based a series on, on, on the movie? Netflix uh, next year. Oh, I see. 2023, yeah. Very interesting, I'll keep my eyes open for it. A lot of uh, saints here in Italy, like in Atrani, in Maiori. Yeah, and so you're like a, a local person in the movie, kind a of? A lot of local person. Yeah, I'm sure. Cool. But I was the most famous one from local people. I see. Excellent. <laughs> I'm kidding. Very cool. I will definitely keep my eyes open for it. So, I have Netflix, so... Okay, so cool. please what? make a nice publicity for our hotel. Yes, I am. I'm just um, remarking at uh, all the amazing art and, and everything. I'll so. ask you if, if you don't mind your, uh, the name of your YouTube channel. It's Gabriel Traveler, or I can uh, tell you later, but uh, yep. So it's Positano Art Hotel, also called Hotel Pasatea. Right there, and here's the view. So the plan is to walk on down here and then get down to a nice little beach right down there. We've got something very interesting here. I guess sort of a recreation of the town. Houses on a cliff. Buona sera. Uh, I don't speak Italian. No. You know what is this? I don't. What is it? Christmas. It's for Christmas. It's for the nativity. I see. This is where the nativity would be just here? That's here, yeah, they do the sea, and the born of the god there. I see. But it's like Positano? The buildings are like Positano, I yeah, guess? Yeah, yes. okay. For Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Very cool. Thank you. Presepe Napoletano. Presepe. <laughs> Presepe. Yeah. What does this mean? That's uh, the things that they make that Christmas. Per sepe. Uh, okay. Per sepe. I see. They put all the door and the small. Oh, person. I see. And all of the windows and the doors would be yeah, little that, figures and yeah. decorations yes. and things like that. Ah, so it must be very colorful then yes, at that time and, <laughs> and uh, lights, I'm sure. And yes. very nice. You from Positano? Yeah. I see. Okay. And why are you going there now? I'm going down to the beach and then going on the walk. You go this way? Yeah. You have been already? I haven't, but I'll figure it out. Uh, yeah. I explain to you. You can go to this is a small beach. Yes, yeah? I want to go to the small beach and then walk to the big beach. And going on the left, that's, yeah. uh, you found the small road that connects the, the two beaches. Yes, I saw on the map they gave me at my hotel. Uh, then it shows the trail. So. Yeah, I know, you know already. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, here. Oh, down here. Done here. Excellent. Straight down, and when you get it on the beach, you have to go on the left. Very good. Grazie mille. Yeah. And go to the left, he said.
very nice little beach here. Not sure if this is normally restaurants or what, but uh, I guess there's a path up there that gets over to the main beach. I can kind of barely see it over there. And then some uh, homes, I guess, some kind of buildings embedded in that uh, cliff. Let's go try to get closer to that. It looks like I'm going to run into a locked gate. Yep. Up there, but uh, try to peek around the uh, side of it at least. So is this another one of those Christmas... What do you call it? A principe? No idea, but uh, a cave where something has happened. Castel Clavel. A very locked and solid gate there. I'll poke the uh, camera around the corner here. Laundry hanging out to dry, that is an indication that somebody actually lives there. And there, Positano sprawled across a magnificent mountain. So there's the other beach, just gotta find the trail going up and over. So I'm at the other end of the beach. Stairs going up. Gonna give that a try. First wanted to uh, take a look here. This is kind of strange. Like this very low tunnel. Little uh, doorway to a very cute little beach. Nice. But let's try the stairs. See where they go. Yes, this is it. The guy at the hotel had mentioned it's called the Way of Positano of America. Kind of like America Boulevard or something, I guess. Not boulevard, but trail or path. Okay. Lots of really interesting nooks and crannies around here. Looks like we're going uphill for a little ways. A very cute bridge here. I guess in spring, then there must be water running there or after a rain. Must be a restaurant up there. That would be a great location. I think it's closed. Tracita Tower. A very lovely and easy little walk between the two beaches there.